everyone, Ranger Kendra here with Alaska Maritime National Wildlife Refuge. I'm coming to you today from the Science Learning Lab at the Islands and Ocean Visitor Center in Homer, Alaska, which is the headquarters for the Alaska Maritime Refuge. Um, so I'm excited to be here today to be able to share with you about a very special group of birds that are really important to Alaska Maritime Refuge. So our scientists and our biologists spend a tremendous amount of time studying and researching this particular group of birds. And these birds are what we would call seabirds. And so like their name suggests, seabirds are birds that live in the sea or the ocean. Their home is the ocean habitat. Everything they need comes from the ocean. So things for that they need to survive, such as food and water, all come from that ocean home. And so there are seabirds that are found all over the world, not just here in Alaska, but Alaska Maritime Refuge is home to almost 40 million seabirds, which make up almost 30 different species um, of seabirds that are found here. And so I would like to just kind of introduce you to a few of the seabird species that can call Alaska oceans their home um, and share a couple of fun facts with you about them. And so the first one that I'd like to share with you is this really cool seabird here, which you can kind of see poking his head over the screen. This is what we would call a Laysan albatross. This is one of the largest of the seabird species. Now these guys actually don't nest here in Alaska. They like to nest in warmer waters like in Hawaii, um, but they'll come up to Alaska's oceans during the summer season to be able to feed in our uh, rich waters. And so they like to eat things, uh, mostly they like to eat squid, but they'll also eat fish off the surface of the water as well. And if this albatross was to actually spread out its wings all the way from wingtip to wingtip, he would have a wingspan of almost six feet. And also check out his cool webbed feet. Most seabirds have these great webbed feet like this guy here to help them swim in their ocean habitat. So whether it's a seabird that swims on the surface of the ocean like our albatross here or a seabird that likes to dive deep down in the water to catch its food, they all have those great webbed feet. Um, another seabird that I'd like to share with you today is this cute little guy right here. So this is um, one of the smallest of the seabirds that we have here in Alaska. This one is what we would call a least auklet. Now check out our least auklet's little tiny beak. Obviously our least auklet is eating very different food than our great big albatross over here. And so the least auklet, now this is an adult least auklet, so they don't get any bigger than this. Um, and he's gonna be going for things like zooplankton. So those little teeny tiny animals that float around in the ocean water. So they're going for different types of zooplankton in the water. Another seabird that I have with me today is a pretty popular seabird and that is our tufted puffin. Now tufted puffins are known for, or they get their name tufted puffin from these great tufts of feathers that grow on the sides of their head during the breeding season. And there are actually two species of puffin that live here in Alaska. We have our tufted puffin, like this guy here, but then we also have the horned puffin, which is this one right here. And the horned puffin, if you check out right above his eye, look at that awesome horn that they get over their eye during the breeding season. That's why we call them the horned puffin. And one neat thing about both horned puffins and our tufted puffins is they both have these really great beaks. So they have specially adapted beaks that have hooks inside of them that allow them to hold on to lots of food at once. So like you can see our horn puff in here, it's got all these fish lined up in its mouth. They can carry a bunch of food at once without dropping it so that when they have chicks, which super cute, we call a chick puffin or a baby puffin a puffling. When they have Pufflings back in their nest, they can carry lots of food back to them at once. And so those are just a few of the different seabird species that live here in Alaska and call Alaska Maritime National Wildlife Refuge home. Um, and actually before we finish up today, I'd like to share with you my absolute favorite seabird. And actually before I share this seabird with you, I have to, um, in honor of this seabird, put on my helmet. So my favorite seabird is one called the 
crested auklet. And as you can imagine, he gets his name from this awesome crest of feathers that he grows over the top of his head in the breeding season. And these birds are super cool. First, I love their fun, bright orange beaks that they grow that makes them look almost like a clown. Um, and then again, they have that great crest of feathers. But another cool thing about the crested auklet is that when they come together in big colonies, so big groups during the breeding seasons, they actually smell like tangerines or citrus, which is so funny. Uh, and so I encourage you to learn more about seabirds because even though they all share the same home, the same habitat, they're pretty different. There's all kinds of different seabirds that live in not just Alaska's waters or oceans, but all across the world. So I, think I encourage you to learn a little more about seabirds and in the comments below, let me know what is your favorite seabird and tell me why that seabird is your favorite. All right, guys, until next time, I will talk to you again.